All right, so I'm about to head off to the, the evening freestyles. Um, they're happening tonight. And I wanted to talk a little bit. I was at the show uh, the past few days and I was really inspired by some riding uh, in the warm up and being around some really amazing riders. And I have a little bit of a cold. Um, if I sound funny, that's why. Um, but one thing that I've found is that, and I love, is people in this sport really pursue education. So people really want to get to be better riders and they put a lot of effort into improving themselves as riders. Um, but I think sometimes there's one piece that's really overlooked there. People spend a lot of time riding. They spend a lot of time working by themselves in a lot of ways to make themselves better. They spend a lot of time going somewhere and getting lessons, um, paying an expert to watch them ride and um, give them feedback. But I think one of the most overlooked tools to improve your riding is watching good riding. And I think in some ways why it's overlooked is because people don't know how to watch good riding and have that impact their riding. So I have a few kind of tips today on how to watch really good riding and improve your own riding. And one of the things that I look for when I'm watching good riding is I try to really watch what their body is doing. So as we watch a horse go, our tendency as horse people is to watch the horse and their movements. Um, and this is good. It's really good to watch the horses, but to improve our riding, we have to see what the rider is doing, what feel they're presenting, how they're sitting, um, and how they're using their body. And then we have to be able to transfer that to ourselves and our horses and our body and kind of mimic that. So this kind of visual learning, I think it's important to change a little bit how we watch the horses go. Not just watch the horses, but watch the rider and then how do, how would that feel in my body if I sat in that position with that, you know, my arm here? Or how would that be if I, I used my legs a little bit in that, that motion um, and trying to mimic some of that feeling? I think that's a really big piece of learning how to ride and an overlooked piece. And then for all of you people out there with trainers, um, set aside some time to watch them ride their horses. So instead of saying, I'm gonna to learn to ride by riding my own horse and getting a lesson from my trainer or my expert, set aside an hour um, where you go and you sit at that arena and you watch them ride and you try to see how can I get that feeling that they have in my body. Um, and I don't think people do that enough. I think sitting and watching and observing and really translating that to our riding, that can really, really help us. And one last thing, the best part about this platform, YouTube, is you can find a lot of good riding on this platform. So if you like the way Charlotte Dujardin rides or Isabel Worth rides or Stefan Peters rides, go find some videos, go find some warm-up videos, go find some test riding, and then watch that. Um, and it's not as good as in person, but still on the videos, there's so much that you can learn from watching.